Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I wanted to make this video because of the new Newcastle owner that's apparently going to come in. Um, I want to obviously talk about Newcastle, that's the whole deal of the thumbnail that you see before you click on this video. I want to talk about, you know, how long has Steve Bruce got, who I potentially are looking at, who I think Newcastle are looking at as well, how much do I think they need to spend to get back into Europe, and all that kind of stuff, and how do I think they do in Europe, you know, so it's all that kind of stuff. Guys, let me know if you prefer this kind of content up on my channel, all down in the comments below, and or, you know, don't be afraid to message me over social media either, because if you prefer this kind of content, then I don't mind making it for you, but it's all up to you guys what content you enjoy more of mine. But as I said, there's a lot to talk about, a few things I want to talk about Newcastle United, so guys, I've got to get this video underway, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. And this video is sponsored by LOI T-Shirt Company, so I'm going to link my former merch down in the description below. So the first question I'm going to try and answer for you, who, who are you castle looking at for their next manager if it's not Steve Bruce? Obviously with the new owners coming into you castle, the first thing was Rafael Benitez. I think it could be Rafael Benitez, I can see all the you castle fans jumping for joy already. I do think that they could look somewhere else up like well, likes of Big Sam. Uh, just in case you don't know who Big Sam is, Sam Allardyce. I think there's a few potential managers that Newcastle could be looking at. But I do think that, you know, it might be Rafael Benitez in that number one spot. Try and get him back in the club and try and get him up to Europe. Do I think he'll come back to the club? I'm not so sure. I know he loved it at Newcastle, I know he wanted to stay. But do I think he'll come back? And yet again, it all depends. Um, you know, whether it be back in management by the time they go searching for a new manager, if they do. Who do I think um, Newcastle could be looking at? Yeah, I said it. Sam Allardyce. Possibly a few other managers. Van Gogh, he's had a, you know, not with United, but he has got a uh, European success. Yet yeah, again, I'll go for Rafael Benitez. I do think that they're going to look long term with their next manager. I don't think Steve Bruce will stay at Newcastle, but I'll get down to that in a minute because that's my next question up. I think there'll be someone, if it's not Rafael Benitez, it'll be European experience. I've got guaranteed on that. And obviously the new chairman is worth, you know, quite a lot of money. Or he's got quite a lot of money, I should say. But my next question is, how long has Steve Bruce got? Will he see out his money of contract? Will they extend it? Will they... You know, let him go at the end of the season. I know some of you weren't happy with Steve Bruce when he first came in. Trust me, I'm not even a Newcastle fan. And I was a bit annoyed that Mike actually pulled a move like that. Nothing against Steve Bruce whatsoever. But I'm, you know, being a Brighton lad and always looked up at Newcastle as, you know, a European team. I do think that it was a wrong move by Mike Ashley put Steve Bruce in charge. How long do I reckon he's got? I reckon he will have to the end of the season. If he gets that prior to that, then obviously the next manager will be coming in a lot sooner. But it's still going to be an interesting topic going forward for Steve Bruce. And, uh, you know, let's see what happens there. What do I think Newcastle need for Europe? Obviously I need money, really big financial money. I do think that we're going to need no disrespect to the Newcastle players, but a good seven or eight players in their next transfer window, wherever that would be. Obviously, we still don't know about the Premier League season yet, so it's you know still got financial bits to play. Whether we will see some of these players come in, but I reckon I need a good maybe nine or eight changes in that squad. No disrespect to Newcastle, as I've said on top of this video, but. I still reckon I need a good 9 to 8 players to even start thinking about Europe. Only because the money man coming in don't necessarily get guaranteed your European football. But I hope Newcastle do um, make it to Europe. They deserve it. They've got one of the best grounds in the Premier League. I've been up there once myself. 
and uh, you know it's amazing ground, lovely ground. So yeah, I do think they need to spend big, maybe 150 mil, maybe even more. My next one is, or my next question I'm going to bring up: How do I think Newcastle will do in Europe? As again, it goes on to that question I just answered before about you know how well they spend the team that they got now. And as I said again, no disrespect to the team they got now. I don't think they survive long in Europe, but you're going to have to you know invest big time to get into Europe. I mean, you can even look at I know May Night Plan, you know, through their young boys, but they're spending big, and you know it's a bit touch and go. With Man United, as I said, how well I do in Europe, I think it will go on how well they spend. Obviously, the question before. Now, the last, the last one I'm going to do for this video is how much do I think Newcastle need to spend to get into Europe? Yet again, around about 150 mil, maybe even higher. I may even push that to way above 300 mil. If it's 300 mil, then they more than likely will get into Europe, but it depends how you invest that money. Why I'm here as well, I've got just the two managers. I've got Rafael Benitez's record and Steve Bruce. Let's start off with Rafael Benitez. Obviously, he's the man you wanted. He, he's the man you wanted him to stay as well. So, Rafael Benitez has had 340 matches. Won 168, drawn 82, lost 90, goals for 519. Goals against 316. Steve Bruce is a bit more damaging, you could say, but he has had a few more matches than what Rafael Benitez has. Steve Bruce has got 421 matches, won 119, drawn 117, lost 185. Goals for 427, goals against 556. So, you know, as I said, big gap there between the two. Near, not Steve Bruce has not nearly had a hundred matches more for what Rafael Benitez has got. But um, yeah, guys, as I said, top of this video, please let me know if you enjoy this content more than my football manager. If you do, leave a comment down below, and I'll do more of these sort of videos where I talk about football on a daily basis. Obviously, my upload schedule will change as well. But talk about football on a daily basis. As I said, if you don't mind it, you enjoy it more then please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Who knows, I could be covering one of your clubs in the near future, making the news headlines. But anyway, guys, I'll go bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. So, a big fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.